name is Scott Pollock and I'm a certified health and fitness specialist with a degree in exercise sports science. And today I will be showing you how to use Bollinger Fitness's revolutionary new training device, the Gravity Trainer. The Gravity Trainer uses a new technique called suspension training. Now suspension training is training that involves straps and handles that allow the trainee to work against their own body weight. One of the greatest aspects of suspension training is that it's fun to use and it keeps you interested. It also uses stability training techniques that force you to keep your balance. Best of all, you can take it anywhere. All you need is a door or bar to hang the trainer from. It's also ideal for traveling and fits neatly into a small mesh bag. I use suspension training with basically all my clients and definitely recommend that everyone incorporate it into their daily workouts. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to set up your gravity trainer. So the gravity trainer comes in two separate parts, the door anchor and the adjustable straps. First, I'm gonna show you how to set up the door anchor. So you're gonna slide the door anchor in the door and make sure it's close to the hinges. That's gonna give you the most support. You're also gonna make sure that you lock the door and that you pull tight on the strap to make sure it's secure. Now, on the door anchor, there are different levels of intensity with these rings. So depending on which exercise you're doing, you can adjust the height by clipping the second part, which is the adjustable straps with the handles and the foot cradles to the resistance that you want. So for instance, we're gonna start on the top ring, that's probably gonna give us the most resistance. And if we need more, if we need to change the length of the straps any way else, we can pull down on this clip down here and adjust the straps like so, making them longer or shorter. The first thing is we always wanna keep it away from sharp edges that could tear the gravity trainer. And when you first take your gravity trainer out before you start using it, you always wanna check for frays or tears in the material. I also want to double stress pulling the door anchor to double check that it's secure after you set it up on the door. And we also want to keep both straps even while we're exercising. When you find an area that you feel is suitable for training, make sure it's a non-slip floor. And last but not least, suspension training and the gravity trainer, all that in general, uses a lot of core. So we want to make sure that we keep our core nice and tight throughout all the exercises and definitely make sure that you're breathing correctly as well. All right, it's definitely important before you start exercising that you go through some basic stretching to prevent injury and warm up those muscles. So we're gonna go through three different stretches with our gravity trainer over here. The first one's gonna be a basic chest stretch. So you're gonna grab the handles facing away from the door Gonna take a couple steps out, making sure the straps don't have any slack in them. We're gonna take a staggered stance, so e either left or right foot in front. And then what I want you to do is have a slight bend in your elbow. And we're gonna lean forward, keeping our knee from passing our toe until you feel a big stretch through your chest. The handle should be about at chest level. We're gonna hold this stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then if you feel like you need to do it again, you can repeat this two to three times. All right, the next two stretches we're gonna do are a lat stretch and lower back stretch. And then we're gonna do one right after that since we'll be in the same position and that's a hip stretch. It's called a figure four because it makes a four with your legs. So we're gonna be facing the door. We're gonna grab the handles. Get all the slack out and we're going to squat down and we're going to let our arms just relax and you should feel a pulling in your upper back kind of on the sides and then to intensify that feeling we're going to twist to the right so you should feel this in your right lat. We're going to hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then we're gonna switch over to the left side. You should feel that in your left lat. Relax those legs. 
feet should be about shoulder width apart. Come back. Good, now the figure four stretch. We're gonna cross one leg. So let's cross our left over our right. We're gonna sit down, keeping our knee over our toe. Still relaxing those arms, relax those hips. This is a glute stretch, hip stretch. Again, we're gonna hold this for about 15 to 20 seconds. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So cross that right over that left. And hold. You gotta continue holding for 15 to 20 seconds. And you can repeat these as needed. Okay, so now we're gonna go through our exercises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three different circuits. The first circuit's gonna be five different leg exercises. The second circuit's gonna be six upper body exercises. And then we're gonna go through some core exercises for the last circuit. And what a circuit means is basically we're gonna go through the five exercises back to back to back to back. And then we'll come back around and go through them one more time. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a squat. So you're gonna take your handles. Bring them out, we're gonna put all of our body weight into the handles, take a couple steps forward, feet about shoulder width apart. Now we're gonna squat down, keeping the weight in our heels. We're gonna press back up through our heels, come up and squeeze our glutes together at the top. Down, squeeze the glutes together at the top. We're going about half the speed coming down, fighting gravity as we are coming up, going a little faster. We're gonna do about 20 repetitions of these. Seven, eight. So on the way up, while I'm doing the exercise, I'm exhaling. On the way down, I'm inhaling. Keep that breath the whole time. Until you get to 20 repetitions. And good. So the first two exercises we did were squats. So that was working our glutes and our quads. And what I want to emphasize when working with the gravity trainer is that you keep your core tight throughout all the exercises. So taking your belly button back to your spine. Now we're gonna finish our quads and our glutes off with some gravity lunges. So what we're gonna to need to do for this is to take these two handles and make them into one. So we're gonna take the right handle, take it through the left one, like so, and then we're gonna take the right one and go through the left one one more time. And then we're gonna pull tight, and that's gonna turn it into one handle for our single leg lunges. So what we're gonna do is stick our foot into both of the foot cradles. We're gonna take a step out, a couple hops. You wanna make sure you have plenty of room. Now we're gonna kick our right leg back and at the same time we're gonna squat down our left leg. So taking it back and then we're coming up and bringing that knee up. So down, up, that's two, three, four, Five, going for 10, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, drop those handles. You gotta switch sides to the left leg. Again, get some space between you and the door. All right, so we're gonna kick back that left leg, squat down on our right. Come back up, bring that left leg up. Two, three, keep that knee over the toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The next two exercises we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be laying on the ground facing the door. So the first one's a glute bridge and the second one's a hamstring curl. So the first one we're working our glutes. 
So what we're gonna do, what I did was raise the straps a little bit so they're about calf level. Then we're gonna unhook them so they become two straps again. We're gonna sit down on the ground and we're just gonna hook our heels into the foot cradles like so. I'm gonna have you lay down. We're gonna put our hands down to our sides and we're gonna bend our knees just a little bit. Now we're gonna start the exercise. You're gonna keep your core nice and tight and you're gonna lift your hips off the ground, squeezing your glutes together as high as you can go and back down to the ground, relax. That's one, two. You should feel this in your glutes, in your core, and you'll feel it a little bit in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Focus on squeezing those glutes, getting as high off the ground as you can. Keep your breathing. Let's get four more. Two, three, four. Very good. Okay, now that we finished the glute bridges, we're gonna go straight into our hamstring curls. And we're actually gonna stay in this exact position. So let's go back to our backs, hands down to the side. We're gonna start with one glute bridge. Now we're gonna keep our hips up the whole time. We're gonna straighten our legs out. And we're just gonna curl our heels back towards our glutes keeping those hips nice and high. You should feel this in the bottom of your legs. Four, we're going for 10, five, keep breathing, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, relax, good. Now, if you feel like you mastered the first three exercises, the squats, the single leg squats, and the gravity lunges, we can up that intensity with adding some jumps. So we're gonna start with some squat jumps. Since there is more intensity, we're not gonna do as many reps. We're gonna to stick to about 10 repetitions. Feet shoulder width apart, same motion. So we're gonna squat down, and then we're gonna jump up off our feet as high as we can go. But I want you to focus on coming down on your toes softly and coming back right down into the squat. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job, guys. Okay, so the next intermediate exercise we're gonna do is our single leg squat, but we're gonna add a jump to that. So we're gonna do 10 of these repetitions. We're gonna get back into our squat position. We're gonna start on our right leg, so we're gonna stick our left leg out. Once again, I wanna stress coming down, and then we jump up, coming down nice and softly. So up for one, two, knee over the toe, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Quad should be burning by now. We're gonna switch over to the left side. 10 repetitions, knee over the toe, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, guys, good job. We're gonna go on to the next exercise, gravity lunges. Okay, guys, the third intermediate exercise we're gonna do are back to our gravity lunges, but we're actually gonna add a jump into these two. Now, I also want to say, please get water when you need it. Take breaks when you need it. And after you're finished, we're going to grab the two handles and we're going to turn them back into one. So take the right through the left. Then we're going to take that right one through the left one one more time. Pull tight. Come over to the wall. For balance, we're going to stick that right foot in. You gotta hop out. Well, just enough room so we can kick this right leg back, squat down on the left. So down, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, three more. One, two, I know it burns. And relax, very good. Let those go, now we're gonna stick them in our left foot. Turn around, hop back out. Same thing, try to keep your whole foot on the ground. Going down, and up for the jump, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, core tight, eight, nine, 10. Good. Great job, guys. Those were the intermediate exercises. You should really feel those quads and those glutes burning. Okay, so now that we've completed two circuits of our lower body exercises, we're gonna to move to our upper body portion of the circuit. So the first exercise we're gonna do in the upper body portion is a chest press. So we're gonna be facing away from the door. Go ahead and grab both your handles. It should be at about ankle length. I want you to step out. Then you're gonna put your body weight into the handles. They should be at about eye level so the straps don't rub on you. Now, on all these upper body exercises, I want your body as straight as possible. That means squeezing your glutes together and keeping your core tight. Head in line with the spine. You're gonna go down. Elbows should be at about 90 degrees. You should feel a slight stretch in your chest. And then we're pushing our chest back together, bringing the straps a little closer. And that was one. Here we go for two. There's two. This is working your chest, a little bit of your triceps, and a little bit of your shoulders. There's four, five. We're gonna go for about 12 repetitions. Now remember, decreasing your angle to the floor is gonna make this a lot harder. So I'm gonna take a couple steps back. Keep my glutes core tight. Keeping that breathing going. Good, a few more. Very nice and relax. Okay, so we just finished our chest. We're gonna turn around, face the door. We're gonna work on our back. So we're gonna do some rows. So we're gonna grab the handles. Keep in mind, most of these exercises, you want your feet shoulder width apart, feet flat on the ground, toes pointing forward. Facing the door, grab the handles. Let our arms lengthen out. We're gonna put our weight on the handles. Squeeze those glutes, tighten that core. We're gonna keep our elbows nice and tight. We're gonna pull ourselves up and pinch our shoulder blades together. Working that middle back. There's two. Nice and controlled movement. Three, four. Again, we're going for about 12, 12 to 15 repetitions. Five, six. Everything should be in a straight line. Decreasing that angle is gonna make the exercise harder. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. And show shoulder blades, nine. 10, you should feel this in your biceps as well. 11 and 12, very good. All right, we're gonna move on to our shoulders next. The shoulder exercise we're gonna be doing is called Y's and T's. So they're called Y's and T's because we're gonna take the gravity trainer and we're gonna make a T, then we're gonna transition, and we're gonna make a Y, and this is gonna be working our deltoids, so our shoulder muscles. So we're gonna be facing the door again. We're gonna step out just like we did for rows. Now you don't want a very steep in incline on this one because this is a harder exercise. So we're gonna start with T's. Just like so. We're gonna take our hands up. And we're gonna take our hands back. Let's go pull our body forward using our shoulders. Need a little more intensity, take a step towards the door. T to Y. You should really start feeling this in the front and middle part of your shoulder, also a little in your forearms. Again, we're going for about 12 to 15 repetitions. 
and we're keeping our core and glutes engaged. And about three more, one, two, whoo, and three. Great job. We're gonna move on to the next exercise. Okay, so we're gonna do one more chest exercise before moving on to our secondary muscles, biceps and triceps. We're gonna do flies. So it's gonna be a similar position to the chest press. So go ahead and grab your handles. Facing out from the door. And we're gonna start, make sure there's no slack in the handles and the straps. Start with our arms extended, straps at about eye level. We're gonna keep a slight bend in our elbows the whole time. What you do is slowly let your straight body, core tight, glutes engaged. Come forward, arms out to the side. You should feel a big stretch in your chest. And then we're gonna come back together, pinch that chest together. And then we're going back out again. Stretch. So I'm going nice and slow on the way out. A little faster on the way back in. Squeeze those chest muscles together. I'm gonna go for about 12 repetitions. Again, if you want to make it harder, decrease the angle to the floor, increase the angle to the anchor point. And then out, back together. Stretch, keeping everything nice and tight. Let's get about four more. Good job, three more. One, two, three, great. Now we're gonna move on to those secondary muscles. So we're gonna start with our biceps. We're gonna be facing the door. Go ahead and extend those arms out. Take a couple steps forward. We're gonna turn our palms up. And we're gonna keep our elbows nice and high. They're not gonna move the whole time. We're just gonna curl our body up and slowly back down, flexing that bicep on the way up and on the way down. Notice my elbows aren't out here. We're down here. They're high and close together. Again, going for about 12 to 15 repetitions, keeping everything in line, everything nice and tight. Keep that breathing going. Once again, if you need more resistance, Decrease that angle to the floor. There we go. Four more. One, two, three, and four. Awesome job, guys. We're gonna move on to triceps next. So the next exercise we're gonna do is our triceps. So we're gonna be facing out away from the door Take our straps in each hand. Our palms are gonna be facing down and our hands are gonna be a little over our head. So we're gonna keep that nice straight line, glutes tight, core tight. We're gonna keep our elbows in. We're gonna slowly bend our elbows and then extend them all the way back out straight. Squeeze your triceps. Back out. Just like so, going nice and slow on the way down. Keep those elbows in. We don't want them out here. We want them nice and tight. And back out straight. You should really feel this in the back of your arms. Once again, we're going for about 12 to 15 repetitions. If you need a little bit more, decrease that angle. Keep those arms up high. Keep that breathing going. Starts burning, just keep on going. Got about five more. Five, keep everything tight, don't let your back sag. Four. Three. Two. And one, relax, very good. Moves us to our last exercise. Okay, so our final exercise, we're gonna go out with a bang, it's called an atomic push-up. 
So what's going to happen is we're going to put our feet in the feet cradles. We're going to get down on all fours in push-up position. We're going to do a push-up, and then we're going to add some core. We're going to bring our knees up to our chest. So let's go ahead and get down. Now an easy way to do this is to cross the two straps. You gotta put your right foot in the left cradle, left foot in the right cradle. Then we're gonna twist around to our stomach. We're gonna walk out so we can get into that push-up position. Hands should be under our shoulders. We're gonna go down for a push-up. Keep those hips up, core nice and tight. Then we're gonna come up for a jackknife. So bringing those knees to your, towards your chest. So push up, knees to chest. So we're working upper body and lower body. Make sure to keep, keep those hips nice and tall, core nice and tight. Now we're only gonna go for 10, so give me 10 good ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good job, guys. So that was the end of the upper body circuit. You can go back through that again. Remember, to make it harder, start decreasing those angles. And if you don't need to make it harder, you're going to go through that one more time. Same repetitions. And then we're gonna start our core circuit right after this. All right, so now that we just finished our lower body and our upper body circuits, we're gonna switch over to core. Granted, we've been working core the whole time, but we're gonna finish it off with some really good core moves with the gravity trainer. So the first one's called Superman. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those handles. Gonna take a small step away from the door, keeping them down next to your side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna raise the handles up and you're gonna start leaning forward with the handles, keeping your arms straight. You're gonna come all the way out, you're gonna tighten that core up, it should already be tight. Squeeze those glutes together. And then using your core, you're gonna push your hands back down to your sides just like so. So coming out, core tight. Pushing those arms back down. We go for about 12 repetitions. If you need a little more, take a step back towards the wall. Good, keep going. You can also be, do these on your knees, the same movement. Feel this stretching your shoulders a little bit. Belly button to your spine. Just get three more. Three. Two. And one, very good. We're gonna move on to the jackknives next. Okay, similar to the atomic push-up, we're gonna do jackknives. So that's in the push-up position on the ground, feet in the foot cradles, but we're just bringing our knees to our chest without the push-up in between. So let's go ahead and put the straps on. Right to right, left to left. Okay, come out in that push-up position. We gotta lift our body off the ground, bringing those knees up high to the chest and back down. That's one, two, going for 12, three, four, five. Keep that stomach tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven. 12, great. We're gonna move on to pikes next, so we're gonna stay in the same position. So the pike is similar to the jackknife that we just did, except we're gonna keep our legs straight. Our butts are gonna go up in the air. 
Then we're gonna come back down to normal. So our feet are coming up towards our hands. Legs are straight. Hips go up in the air. Here we go, we're just going for 10 of these. They're a little more difficult. Keep those abs nice and tight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep breathing. Eight, nine, 10. Woo. Good job, guys. Move on to the next core exercise. So the next exercise, we're staying in the foot cradles again and it's gonna be pendulums. Now this might be harder for most people than the other exercises because we're working our obliques. So we're gonna go out to the push-up position again, and we're keeping our legs basically straight, we're gonna swing them from side to side, crunching each side with our obliques. So we're going for 10 repetitions. Come out, keep those hips up, core tight, swing and crunch, nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Very good. Got two more left, guys. Okay, so the last two exercises we're gonna do are gonna be isometric holds. So that means just holding the position while keeping our core tight. We're gonna start with side plank and then we're gonna finish up with plank. So go ahead and get down, put your feet in the foot cradles. Start on the left side, so left leg first. Then right leg. We're gonna be staggered left in front of the right. Come out so your body's nice and straight. We're gonna go up and hold. Keep those hips nice and high. Try to keep the gravity hammer from, gravity trainer from shaking. Keep everything nice and tight, head back. Keep breathing. Now, if you can only go 10 seconds, go 10 seconds. If you can go 20, go 20. Always try to increase your time each time you do it. Right now, we're gonna go for about 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, very good. Let's switch it over to the right side. Same thing, right foot in first. Followed by the left. Come out so your body's nice and straight. Feet are staggered. Elbow under your shoulder. And hips up, go. Core's tight. Everything's in line. You should really be feeling this on the side of your torso. You feel those obliques kicking in. 20 seconds, about halfway there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, very good. So we've come to our last exercise of our core routine. It's gonna be plank. Most people use this as a measurement of core strength. So we're gonna go for about 30 to 60 seconds, however long you can go. So we're gonna come back down, put our feet in the foot cradles. Like so, we're gonna come out so we're nice and straight, keeping our elbows under our shoulders, and we're gonna go up into plank, keeping our core tight, and you should look just like, the exercise is called just like a plank. Nice straight back, squeeze those glutes, tighten that core, keep those hips up. We don't want you to be sagging like this or building a mountain like that, right in between, just like so. Keep breathing, go to that happy place, and hold. You can also do this movement on your hands. And there's a combination of other things you can do as well. You can go from your elbows to your hands, move your legs out to the side and back. Right now we're just gonna hold. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, relax. 
Hey guys, that was the last core exercise. So what I want you to do is go back through it one more time. Now that you have the movements down, try to go a little bit longer or a little bit more reps on each exercise. Very good job.